So I got to see the Cybertruck today at the Peterson Automotive Museum and this thing is badass. I did a whole breakdown on why I think people are really gonna buy this car and want it and love it. I did put a pre-order in for, you know, 100 bucks to reserve a Cybertruck. I think I got the dual motor. So when I found out it was at the Peterson Museum, I hopped in the car and went down to check it out for myself. Let's go. Right when you walk in, it's right there. It's the first thing you see. Something about seeing it in person, it's just even more shocking than seeing it on TV. Something that really stuck out to me was how shiny it was. You see most of the pictures, it looks very matte. And when you look at it straight on from the side, it does look very matte. But at an angle, you can really see how smooth and finished uh, the stainless steel is. That I thought was really cool because it does give it a very clean new look when you see that shine on, on something. I wanted to throw a big steel ball at the window, refrain from doing that. One thing I also didn't know is that the cover for the truck bed is actually black. I thought it was always a trick of the light if it looked darker. I, I assumed that it was the same color as the rest of the car, but it's not, it's actually a black uh, cover, which is really cool looking. It'll be interesting to see how they fit the look of a side mirror into the shape and feel of that car and what it's gonna look like to really maintain the, the styling. There's probably gonna be additional cameras put on as well, because the only two that I could see were on the front wheel wells. They had the Knight Rider car there, which I had a ton of nostalgia about and it's got the same steering wheel as the Cybertruck, which I think when the Cybertruck is really brought to market, it's gonna have a round steering wheel. Who knows, maybe it'll be a trapezoid, but it'll, I don't think it will just be the two handles. I, I think that's completely not practical. Something I was curious to see was how finished it looked. Being a prototype, I wanted to see if I could see the kind of seams and uh, the unfinished nature of a prototype. And there were some things there, but because it's such a rugged, raw, alien looking thing, it's weird when you see those things on the Cybertruck, they don't bother you, or it doesn't bother me because it just seems to fit the style of the truck. It seems like the kind of truck that if it got dinged up, which seems like it can't happen because the <laughs> steel is so strong, but if it did get dinged up or dirty, it seems like it would fit even more the style of the truck. It's just so big. I feel like I kinda would have to live in it. But the price is so good. Compared to a Model 3, you get so much more for your money. It's kind of like, well, why not? Plus, the looks are something that definitely would drive me to wanna buy it. If you're driving this thing, it's like you're driving around a big middle finger to people that drive Hummers. A Hummer is an attention getty kind of car, but you just assume the driver's a piece of shit. At least the Cybertruck is environmentally friendly. So you're like, this douchebag's responsible. This douche gets it. I ordered one, I'm fully prepared to be that douchebag because after seeing it, it's super crazy sleek and awesome and huge inside and seems completely utilitarian. The only problem is it's big. It's very long and I live in an apartment and I'm not sure it would fit in my parking space. Uh, the building might have a problem with me sticking six feet out of my parking space. Thanks for watching. There's a like button somewhere down there if you're interested. Also leave a comment to let me know what you thought. I do a bunch of different types of shows on this channel. One is called Knee of the Curve. It's like the Daily Show for Tech or Last Week Tonight for Futurism. So if you like tech and comedy, check those out. I also just started doing interviews and I have one with Philip Silva, who is from Hedge for Humanity. They're doing a global UBI. This is uh, with cryptocurrency. So we had a really cool conversation about cryptocurrency. That's coming soon. So hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss that. Otherwise, Thanks a ton to the patrons funding this channel. You guys are awesome. And uh, that's it.
see you in the next one.